you started the concentration camps to go against the communists. From the beginning, you went to elimination the, of the Jews from the economic life of Germany. Yeah, then in 1933 was World War I. In 1936, you personally drafted an act making it personal by death to transfer poverty. Correct. In 1938, during the anti-Jewish Jewish riots, you have signed a to sign a law that Jews have to pay for the damage and the insurance companies forfeit. Did you say that you had wished the rioters to kill 200 Jews instead of destroying such valuables? I said that in bad temper and extreme excitement. You signed in 1940s ordering seizure of all Jewish property in Poland and no insurance from the gut from the German government for damages from enemy attacks or from German fo forces. If I signed it, then it must be so. Is this your signature? Yes. Your signature on a decree, July 1941, telling Heimer. Heydrich and the SS to make plans for the final solution to the Jewish oppression. Ordering them to use any method for the final solution to the Jewish oppression. Ordering all government agencies to cooperate with the SS for the final solution for the Jewish oppression. The SS was not a part of the final solution in the Jewish question. Could you repeat that please? I did not know the methods used in the concentration camps. And I did not know that Hitler did either. About 10 million people have been killed. And you, in your opinion, Hitler did not know what was going on in the concentration camps. Yep. Hitler, in 1943, declared to the Minister of Foreign Affairs that the Jews should be exterminated or taken to concentration camps. Hitler talked to Reventhal about extermination and you were above Reventhal. You were Hitler's second command and you were in charge of the four years plan and nothing was and nothing was said to you about the these murders that were happening in the concentration camps. I was laying down the outlines for the German economy. The witness is excused. Chief Prosecutor, are you ready? There has been documents of you going against the rules of war by executing prisoners of war. The document is lying! In documents of you being at a concentration camp of Mount Housen three times. I never set foot in Mount Housen. There has been witnesses minutes of saying you ordered Cod to kill a prisoner because he said he was hungry. He is lying. Another witness said you watched inmates getting killed by gas. He is lying! <laughs> the commander of the consecration camp said you ordered him to put 65,000 Jews in a tunnel and steal it off rather than be liberated by the Allies. I tell you, he's lying! You are lying to the tribunal and everything in your testimony. That is also a lie! I call for the chief prosecutor to make his closing statement. Your honors of the tribunal, this trial has proven there was no time in history that had ever risen 
a slaughter on a grand scale of cruelties and inhumane humanities. Even will be lived, offense killed will be lived on in historic texts of the 20th century of shame and cruelty. As well, civilians was committed without court of law and executed without court of law. The Nazis movement will be evil memory forever in history of its persecutions and execution of the Jews, which is the most terrible racial act in all time that generations will come to remember this war. If we can't prevent this from happening again, it would bring down civilization and would and civilization will end. If this case has seems hard, then the evidence make it hard. If you say these men are not guilty, then it will be saying there was no war, there was no crime. Herman Goring can make his final statement. This was a poor excuse for a trial. But first, I do not know of the terrible mass murders, which I cannot begin to understand. But when the defendant's statements are treated as perjury, when they go against the indictment, this is not a basis of proof. So justice had nothing to do with this trial. I will call each defendant to give what they are guilty of and the sentences. The counts on what they are guilty will be numbered one through four. One is conspiracy to commit aggression. Two is commission of aggression. Three is in his crimes in the conduct of warfare. And four is crimes against humanity. Herman Gorey, you are charged with crimes one through four. Death by hang. Ernest Kelkenbono, you have been charged with crime three and four. Death by hanging. This trial and the work of the tribunal is complete.